Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, and today I'm here with my brother and his son Ben, and we're in Resurrection Bay, and we've rented a fishing boat. And we are gonna go out and fish for halibut, rockfish, lean cod, salmon, whatever. We're gonna just see what happens. Are you guys excited? Yeah! yeah! All right, let's do this. We're here in the small boat harbor of Seward, Alaska, just putting our way out to the ocean. And this part makes me so nervous. It's like the high school parking lot. This is where most of the crashes happen. Jacked enough. Well, they usually both do. They almost all do. The weather forecast has been all over the place. There's a small craft advisory for later tonight and uh, tomorrow uh, with seas as high as seven feet we obviously want to be gone long before that happens but right now it's beautiful so uh we're just gonna see what happens though i'm a little nervous because yesterday was supposed to be calm and beautiful and we had close to 20 mile per hour winds and three foot waves here in the bay so uh we'll see what happens all right i think it's time to batten down the hatches from the open ocean coming from one direction. We've got waves from another and chop from a third direction. It's kind of a weird way to bounce in this boat around. Yeah. That feels like I'm on the bottom already. Okay. Oh, there he is. What is it? Hold, hold up. All right, we got the most enormous high-low rig I've ever seen in my life. We're gonna try that for for halibut and stuff straight up under the boat and uh it should it should bounce a lot all right we got this halibut rig and it's kind of bouncing a little bit off to come and drop line out as we get deeper and deeper we're on a big point of land on a shelf that drops down very aggressively and we're drifting down the shelf so we're having to let line out as we we get pushed deeper and deeper i just reel it oh oh yeah. hold on hold on hold on don't don't Oh, he came off. Woo! Got him? Yep. Good thing. Oh, nice. That is a dusky rockfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, dusky rockfish. Excellent, excellent fish tacos. <sighs> that should not be that far out. What do you got? You got a dusky rockfish. Yeah. Pull it up, pull it up. All right, let me get it off this. I'm gonna pull it towards you. That's a big one. Yeah. I wanted to catch it. Oh, there we go. Oh, hold on tight. Oh, go to the left. Left, 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 left. Yes. This is busy, busy fishing. We're getting pushed around a lot, so I'm having to reposition the boat, mess with the rods, bait hooks, get it. You know, it's. I'm I'm busy. You got one, Tom? I'll try. I'll make sure you don't. Make it. Oh boy! Look at that. That's a quillback. There's a quillback, Tom. Huge. Yeah, it is. Look is that, at that. Is that a deep one? Like, yeah, we're going to keep them. Oh, good job, Tommy. Here, let's get him in the cooler. Like oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's actually bending something, oh. Dan. That, that's playing more like a halibut. Yeah, halibut. 50 feet down, 200 feet to go. We'll check back in in about an hour. I'm, I think it feels like a 15 pound, 20 pound halibut. Yeah! Yes! Whoa! That's a hell of it. That is a hell of it! We did it! Hey. <laughs> See, that's the difference between renting your boat and doing a charter. If that's all I caught on a charter, I'd be kind of like, that was lame. That was lame. But we did it ourselves, so it's awesome! Yes. Please do. There, Tommy, you got that? Really hard. It's easier. This feels than what? Than that the halibut rod. Oh yeah. You're close. You're close, yeah, buddy. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is yeah, that? The cool back again. That's Dan. There we go. Wow. Yeah, they hurt. Puffins, Tommy. So many puffins. Puffins. Hey, puffins. Yeah, you got a good fight on your hand. 
It's a lead lead cod. cod. Lead cod. Can you keep him right. here? No, we can't keep him here. Whoa! Wow. Nice. That's a pretty good one too. Uh, here. Yeah, they're long and they're tasty. They're like lobster. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll keep, oh, he's a good size one. Okay, big old lead cod. Here we go. Okay, Nate, you got this. This is a pretty good size one. Here, bring him here. What? You snapped him. Popped out of my face. There you go. Okay, give me some slack. That's a lead cod, buddy. That's a nice one. Awesome. Here, why don't you check him in the water? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Show me the fangs on that. Yeah. Thing. Look, at look at that thing. Look at the teeth on him. All okay. right, check him in there. It's about like that. Oh, there you go. But we're just barely inside Resurrection Bay, so we can't keep him. You got to be outside of Resurrection Bay to and keep him. And where's the outside? I think it's just the other side of that island. Okay, you take this yeah, rod. Take the orange rod. Wow, the halibut rod just got crushed. Okay, you got that, man? Ah, yep. If you need help, yeah, you, it's your turn. Yeah, film, yeah. Film. There you go, I can see some color. Oh, 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 oh. Pacific Cod. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Keep that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Spike. And he's pooping. Look at that, that's got to be shrimp right there. Oh, oh that is. Yeah, look at that, he got just been... Ooh. Look at that, that's awesome. That's... Oh, that yeah, my oh, dare you, I dare you. That's a nice pod. That's a nice pod. Eat it. Eat it's a nice pod. There we go. Nice cod, that's fish and chips right there, baby. Don't want to do it. Yeah, there's a little little parasite that goes on the tongue of the fish. Good thing I have 200 IQ, I found that out. Oh. Hey, does anyone of you guys want to, little guys want to, Nathan or Tommy want to, I got a halibut here. Good. Two. Oh, yes, you got two. Oh, that's awesome. You got two. Where are they? Oh. Out of duty. Out of duty. Nice. All right, that was Good I had cod duty on me, so. Okay, is that neat, Nathan? Super. That's kind of awesome. That's why you took Oh, oh. 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 That's a, that flounder. looks like an arrow tooth flounder. Oh, is that what it is? Hey, look, it's got. Look at that eyeball. That's awesome, Tom. <laughs> He's so small. All right, let's get him back. Let's get oh, him back. So we really want to catch another halibut, so we've doubled down on the halibut rods, and uh, we're going to see what happens. But uh, the downside is that means a lot more reeling for me and less camera hands. <laughs> well, yeah, pull it in, pull it in. You got a salmon. Oh, nice. Oh, here, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a nice one. Look at the color on that. That's a beauty. Is there, there, that is oh, he beautiful. swallowed too. That nice salmon, buddy. That's really pretty. Oh man, we're getting it all today. Yeah, yeah something going on here. Pretty. And a cod. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, oh my god, you're my head me. Whoa, there we go, nice cod. Nice. Uh, Guys, we're basically using the same techniques we use catfishing. We're drifting a point of land out into deep water. And uh, it's working for catfish, it's working for rockfish, it's working for out. It's just a really common technique. Oh, I got a red one. Oh, yellow eye. it's a nice yellow eye. Yeah, I got a nice spike going on there. That's probably a pretty Yep, that's full. Oh, nice. Are we keeping? Yeah. You guys, you want to try another spot? Just try to mix it up a little bit? Well, we're in about 140 feet of water, just off a point of land with a little bit of shelter. And we're gonna see if uh, this doesn't work out for us. Hi, right, guys. Okay, put it in neutral again. Oh, -ho. hey, a little green. That's a pollock. Yeah. Oh, look at that, a little pollock. Yeah, about four, <laughs> chase it back up. Oh, yeah, right under the boat. My brother keeps nailing the little juvenile salmon right under the boat. Yeah, a little, a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah, it's descent. It's Stick descent. your finger in its mouth. All right, we're going to release that quill back. We're going to use this uh, descender here. It's a barbless hook with a big weight. Get ready to descend him. Are okay, you ready? Yep. We let that drop down there. And once you get them to depth, then you go jerk, 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 and pop them off. And uh, that's how you release these rockfish from really extreme depths. Oh, green lane. Oh, there you go. We pulled a few, few out of this spot, but let's try another spot. Oh, yeah, quill back. But he's not, he's, he's still shallow, so. Yeah, we can release him without the descender. I think we found ourselves a nice drift here. Oh, I got a 
Yeah, here is too. Oh, remember this spot. I got something big here. Oh, it's another lean cod. You know, is it cod, Pacific cod? Oh, that's a nice lean cod. That's not better like a green lean. Keep a little tension, but gent be gentle. And then, oh, hey, look at that. That's cool, man. That's what is that? Oh, that's another rockfish. We're only in 80 feet of water here, so we don't need to use the descender, but we can't keep him. See that one? There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, it's a yellow eye. Blackfish, oh, rockfish, yeah! Uh, all right, little tiny dusky. So all righty. So, 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 so. like Tommy and Nathan. We have caught fish, usually multiple fish, on every drift on this point here. It's just been awesome. In a nice fight there. Oh, a little bit bigger than I've had in those duskies. Hey, I don't know if I caught Lincod. Look at it. Here. And you don't have to descend them. Yay! Whoa, that's a that's the biggest I'm, yellow eye of the day. And good thing I'm here to uh there we go. Another quill back though. He's he's looking a little peaky. Well guys, we tore it up. We caught more fish than we can even count, and I think we caught 13 species of fish. Man, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. And uh, anyway, we gotta get this back to the dock. We got a lot of flaying to do. Look if I just throw a jig out. That's mine. <laughs> Holy mackerel, look at that pile of fish. That's a nice uh, orange one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, we kept 21. <laughs> we probably left at least that many. Uh, at least that many. Those are some hefty cod. Super tight. Whatever. I've caught several halibut, but I've never flayed my own halibut. So we're gonna we're gonna try this and see what happens. I think this. Doo -doo -doo, I guess we just pulled it like this. Maybe. Hey, that looks, actually, that looks better than your cod. Hey, hey, look at that! <laughs> yeah. That wasn't horrible. I mean, we got some room for improvement right in here. There we go. My first halibut play. Baby, say what do 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 do. Baby, say what do 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 do. Other fish. Trying to figure out how to do a belly fillet on salmon. There you go. There's your belly fillet. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too ashamed of that. No, it's not too bad. It's a little bit mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm at that. A little bit digging it, dug it. Oh, 21 fish or so, all filleted up. We uh, got them all. Ready to go home. I think we're gonna eat some nice fish tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, was that fun? Yeah. That was a blast. Yeah. So me and Becca and the kids are at my brother's house and my brother is making halibut Olympia and I'm doing fish and chips and we're gonna have a little dinner here. All right, I have done a bajillion videos on making pub style fish and chips. Super easy recipe. I think there's sour cream that you use for. Uh, I need lemon juice too. You want to make sure your pan is bone dry, otherwise your oil will pop and explode all over the place. So. Put some zucchini in the leftover uh, fish batter there. Make some fried zucchini. Actually, that sounds really yummy. Yeah, you can deep fried it. Give me food. So we couldn't find British malted vinegar, so we're trying Chinese malted rice vinegar. So. <laughs> 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 Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed our little fishing trip. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe and I'll put a link to our Catch and Cook playlist 
down below. Thanks for watching and see you next Saturday.